Hey, what's going on, you guys? Well, I made it to uploading a video every day for the past three months. So that's 90 videos in 90 days. And in this video, I just want to talk about my results. Now, if you've been following my channel over the past three months, and more than likely, you probably haven't because my channel is still pretty small at this point. I explained why I was going to be uploading a video every day over the course of 90 days. It was basically to grow my channel, and I just wanted to see what kind of results that I was going to get. So if you're somebody who's looking to grow your channel or just get more watch time or more subscribers, uploading more consistently is a great way to do that. Now there's been a huge difference before I started uploading videos every day and after. Now it's not something that grew my channel to a crazy amount of subscribers, but it is a difference. Now three months before I started uploading videos every day, from August 6th to October 6th, I gained about 14 subscribers. And I was sitting at about 34 subscribers at that time, which is not a whole lot. But if it means that I'm still giving people knowledge that's going to help them become more financially independent, I mean, hey, that's still a win for me. Now, within those three months before I started uploading videos every day, I had 999 views. Now, that's over the course of three months. And I had a total of 45 hours of watch time. Now, before I started uploading videos every day, the previous three months before that, I had a total of 26 videos. Now fast forward to three months later, after uploading a video every day, I got 2,700 views. I got 137 hours of watch time and I gained 49 subscribers. Now that's a huge improvement to me. Maybe for most people that might not seem like a big deal, but when you're having a hard time getting views, getting subscribers, it feels like you have to fight for every minute of watch time. Now as of right now, I have 84 subscribers, which is an improvement for me because I mean, I'm happy with that. I wish it would have been a little bit more, but hey, I mean, that's the way it goes. Now, what I want to talk about besides the analytical part of it is the things that I've learned and how I see YouTube a little bit differently now. Now, what I've learned is basically how to manage my time better because honestly, I don't have time every day to record a video. I work part time. I have a business on the side with my friend and life just happens. If you have a full time job or a family, I mean, you understand things come up that you didn't anticipate. And there's just going to be times when you just don't have the time or energy to record a video every day. So what I've been doing is what's called batching. So this is where I know that I have free time. I have time available. I'll record maybe two to three videos a day. And then that same day, I'll edit one and then I'll upload it. And then the next day, I'll upload the second one. So I just try to manage my time as best as I can where I can record two or three videos in one day. So that way I don't have this pressure on me where I feel like I have to record every day, edit it, and then upload it. And sometimes I use the schedule feature on YouTube. Basically, if you're a content creator, you know what this button does or you know what this feature is. It's basically where you can upload a video onto YouTube, but you can have it private until you set it to go public on whatever time that you choose. So you can upload a video right now and then you can have it scheduled to go public maybe tomorrow, next week, or in a month from now. And that's what's helped me out a lot. Now, I usually do this when I know that I'm gonna be busy the next day, so I just try to take advantage as much as I can of this feature. Now, how I look at YouTube a little differently is how much changes that they're making to the platform. Now, I'm talking about the whole copy thing. Now, I don't know if that's gonna affect my channel at all. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I mean, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I mean, but I'ma just continue to upload my videos like regular. Now, what I learned when it comes to uploading every day is how to create better thumbnails that are going to get more people to click on your video and what title and topic is going to do better than opposed to another topic. And when it comes to uploading videos on YouTube, it only takes one video for your channel to start getting traction and then start to blow up. But the thing is, you don't know what video that is, so you just have to keep on going. Now, I remember Nathan Lucas said this from the channel Freedom Influencer. He said, when it comes to making YouTube videos, it's like throwing darts at a dartboard. So the more darts that you throw, the more likely you are to hit a bullseye. So that's basically all I wanted to share in this video and how much growth that I've gained over the past 90 days uploading a video every day. Now, I'm gonna still upload a video every day. I'm gonna probably just go for the 100 days straight and then probably just take a break after that. But if you're somebody who's thinking about starting your own channel or you have a small channel and you're looking to grow it, I mean, I just recommend that uploading consistently is the best way to help you grow your channel. Maybe you can't upload every day, but whatever schedule that you are going to upload, maybe it's going to be twice a week. 
just stick to that schedule and be consistent with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it inspired you guys if you're a small channel looking to grow. And if you guys got some value from it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos where I share different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.